Can we open it up now? Uh. We haven't had lunch yet. It's been a while since the people who call Hardest Clear Lake home have passed out candy to trick-or-treaters. I've been here almost three years and I haven't seen no trick-or-treaters. They say this year is their year to do it. We want the children to come here so we can see them on Halloween. They're gonna be all around in the building get to come through. Here too, so I'm sure it'll be interesting to them. So a group here decided to take a picture, calling for candy donations, and posted it on social media. And the community delivered. Oh man, S scales. <laughs> <laughs> so much candy, they're certain all 141 people who live here will be able to pass out candy oh on Halloween. So it's just really exciting and it's really touching that something so simple as wanting to hand out candy to trick-or-treaters um, that they want to do that why can't we just make that happen you know? candy has been coming in from all over even as far away as el paso uh, it just means that people care that to, that's what this candy represents to me is our community and uh, the love and the support that we are receiving from complete strangers you know that, that don't have to do this they don't have to spend their money and they are and just like old times they're getting in the Halloween spirit. We don't think about those who haven't done it in 30 years, you know, so I just wanted to give them the opportunity to do something that we, we do all the time.